Hey everyone, Kevin Pangos here at the NBA Summer League in Las Vegas. Got a day off today, so just gonna check out the scenes and, and go along the strip. The experience has been a lot of fun. Uh, it's, it's way different going with a group of guys that you're not really used to playing with, but um, at the end of the day, it's exciting because this is something I've dreamt about you know, as a kid, having an opportunity to make the NBA and um, have all the GMs and scouts and everything watch me play. So it's been tougher. You know, Guys are more athletic. Guys are um, bigger, stronger, faster. Um, but it, it's something that you, know, you just have to get used to. And it's a different game, but you know, at the end of the day, it's basketball. So if you just go out, play hard, and, and you know, play simple basketball, then uh, you'll be all right out there. We've had a couple of days off. Most of the time, we wake up and uh, we'll have like a team meeting, watch some film, and then uh, we'll head to the game about an hour and a half before the game, and, and then, then watch the game. Afterwards, we'll have recovery and uh, do treatment and stuff like that. But uh, most of the time, it's just trying to perform on the court. I've toured the, the strip a little bit. We went and watched the show, me and my girlfriend, last night. Uh, we watched uh, some hypnotist thing. That was kind of cool. Um, and just, you know, walking the strip and seeing things. Pangos for three, dagger. The 40 Jack Gonzaga, it went by super fast. You know, it's something that um, going into it, I was told by guys like Rob Sacre that, hey, kid, like, it goes by in a flash. And, and he was right. But I wouldn't, I wouldn't give anything for that experience. You know, I, I wouldn't. I wouldn't want to leave early. I wouldn't want to change anything about it. It was, I learned, I became a, a better person, I think. Uh, I became more confident. I became a much better player. And I had some of the best teammates I could ask for and um, friends for life out there. So uh, Gonzaga is like a home to me and I, I'm definitely going to go back and uh, visit all the time and, and stay in touch with the whole, the whole staff and players. My favorite memory is definitely making the Elite Eight. That was something that was a goal from day one when we stepped on campus, you know, me, Gary, Kyle. Um, but at the end of the day, the, the best part was probably just the, the memories you'll have with your teammates in the locker room and um, traveling on the road and you know doing some team building stuff, which I had to organize and some of the guys didn't like it at times. But at the end of the day, that's the stuff that you remember and, uh, and cherish for the rest of your life. So, so that was probably my favorite part of just college in general. Coach Hugh and I built a relationship really strong over four years and it started off where I didn't think he hated me, but he was just really tough on me. And when I look back, it was because I know he expected a lot out of me my freshman year. After that first year, the trust just grew from there. Our relationship's strong to this day, and he call, he called me today actually. He calls me, you know, two, three times a week sometimes, and uh, it's to that point where we'll stay in touch for a long time. He's helped me out a lot, so uh, I can only thank him for that. Hey, here at the Bellagio, just want to thank you guys for joining me on this uh, little trip throughout Vegas and. Now it's just time for me to enjoy the water show.